Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jenny. Today is a bit, a little bit of different content. Um, I want to talk about something that people have asked me about in the past, and I'm very open about talking about it. Um, it's part of my life. Um, so it's Accutane. So talking about Accutane. I've used Accutane. So I started getting, it wouldn't be cystic acne because it wasn't as bad, but it was really bad in high school. And I can post a picture of how I looked in high school. Uh, starting around 16, I was getting acne and it just, whatever I did would not go away. Whatever the, my physician would give me did not help. It would help or reduce a little bit, but it wouldn't like clear everything up. Um, so I lived it with for a while. I went to college, still the same thing. Physicians would give me um, uh, topicals. They would give me, even I used birth control to see if that would help. I used a, a, quite a few medication route, but there was no real definition to like remove it all. Um, and so I went through it high school, college, and then once I got into dental school, um, it still was there, it wasn't as bad, but the acne was still there. And halfway through dental school, I was like, you know what? I got to do something about it. Um, not that it affected me and my like self-worth or anything like that, but it does kind of hit your confidence once not only you look young, but you're treating patients and you look young and you have acne, it does not help. They think you're so much younger. I would get it all the time. My patients always thought I was like 15 or 16 because it looks like I'm going through puberty at that time. Um... So I was just like, I had enough. I want to look a lot more presentable in that aspect. I want to look a little older. And I, I mean, you don't want to look older ever, but that's one of the things you don't want to have when you're older. Uh, so I went through school. I, I got a dermatologist at school. And so the dermatologist told me my options and I, I let her know. I, I it was very frank. I was like, I tried everything and nothing has, she's like, well, have you thought about Accutane? Um, and prior to that, I had, but I was like so worried about the side effects. Um, some people that I've spoke to about it in the past, they were like, no, you shouldn't do it. It's really bad for you. And so I just, I, I left it like that. I was like, no, 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 no. But once, I mean, I got to the point where I'm like, I just, I can't do this anymore. So I'm just going to go for it. Um, so she gave me the uh, Accutane as an option. And Accutane being an option, I'm telling you, it's the best thing for my skin, it's helped so much. Um, so you have to know, there's quite a bit, of, it's very involved, it's a very potent drug. Um, so they do, it's very involved, it's very controlled. So once you decide you're gonna go through it, you are basically signing away, you're gonna do it all really well because you can't, you don't wanna leave the treatment midway. It's, it's not gonna work and what did you do all that for? So one of the things you have to realize, it's very expensive. So you want to have a good insurance while you're on it. Specifically, you want to have insurance that will not charge you too expensive for co-pays for seeing a specialist, um, will not charge you for getting blood work done every single month, because trust me, you're getting poked every single month. Um, and then also the copay in the pharmacy. So for the actual drug, what's, are you being, paying by percentage or are you just paying a flat fee? So you have to know all that stuff because, um, the drug is very expensive. If I'm not mistaken, I saw on my, we you know when they give you the drug, they give you what you pay and then what it actually is worth. It was worth a thousand dollars. And that was a thousand, like a thousand hundred, a thousand two hundred. I can't remember exactly, but it was in the thousands mark. Um, so if you're paying a certain percentage, then you have to know you have to have that money to pay for it. Also, if if you're not if you don't if you know you can't afford it, maybe you want to wait a little longer or figure out a different way of going about it. Maybe getting a different insurance. But you want to be up, know that upfront the cost. It is an expensive treatment. Another thing you have to know, it's very individualized. Um, some people are on Accutane for a year. Some people are on Accutane for a year and a half. Some people are on Accutane for two years. You have to know it's very individualized. So your dermatologist is not going to let you know until you're closer to those those months that it's like, oh, I think it's time. Um, initially, my dermatologist had told me a year um, just to kind of give me a, a point, but it ended up lasting about a year and a half. Um, so 
knowing that now. So if you know you're gonna be moving around, maybe don't start right away because it is a little bit of a hassle finding another dermatologist that will try to continue their work. Um, so things you have to start thinking about. Another thing that I, again, because of the hassle of going through everything, there's time commitment involved. Not only are you expected to be seen by a dermatologist once a month, you have your appointment for that. Second thing is you have to get blood work done once a month as well. So what you do is you go get your blood work done and then within that time period, I think it's like a day. So you go see your dermatologist first and then they're like, okay, we're gonna proceed. The next step is you get your blood work. You get your blood work drawn, the dermatologist looks at the results and then she'll say, you're ready. And when they say you're ready, you have to do a module on the internet. So you have to do these like, questions. You have to answer these questions right to be able to get the prescription from the pharmacist. So you have to go through all of this before you get the prescription. Um, and again, this is due because the drug is very potent. Um, it could damage your livers. It could damage your skin. It could damage internal a lot of internal organs. I think the, the scariest thing is if you're pregnant, it can really affect the fetus. So that's why they are very regulated in that aspect. Um, well, we're going with regulations too. When you're on being a female, if you're on Accutane, they ask you to be on um, oral contraceptives or any sort of birth control. So, and it has to be two types. So every time you go to your dermatologist, she'll keep asking you the same question, just so that she knows you're, you're clean and nothing else and that, that's kind of the part of the, bl the blood drawn is they check they do pregnancy tests every single month um, along with checking your organs and all your everything else another thing is time consuming um, so this oh and another thing with that is the pharmacy only gives you a window I think it's a few days I'm not a, it's been a while it's been what four years but if they give you a few days I think it's five to three to five day window where you can pick up your medication. If you do not pick up your medication on time, you are not doing it that month. And then you have to start the whole process all over. You have, not that you start the whole process, but you have to start, you miss a whole month and you have to go back again to a dermatologist and do the whole process all over for no reason. So you gotta know, you have to have time for this. Um, kind of how I like tiptoe with it. You, there's quite a few side effects and that is the reason why I was so scared of doing it at the beginning because I'm like oh I don't know if that side effects outweigh the risks or not um one of them being issues with your liver obviously skin um the side effect that I had there was two I had rosacea so it's like the redness of the cheeks during and right afterwards I it was so red so it always looked like I was embarrassed or like I ran or something because my cheeks were so red afterwards and I'm not light skin so you would think light skin you'd see the rosacea more you still saw the rosacea on my skin um and it's kind of gone away sometimes it comes like it's getting better uh but what it's been four years it's been four years since i finished so that was a long-term side effect the more of a shorter term um i was having issues with my eyes they were so dry and i would use eye drops and whatever eye drop i use it just would not help and living in San Francisco with the with the wind hitting your eyeballs, it was like shards because it was so it, there was so much wind. My skin was dry. My lips were always chapped. Um, my eyeballs were always dry. Everything was dry. Like you, you saw me, and it's like my skin was scal like flaking off at some point. It was pretty gross, but long term it just worked out nicely. Another thing you should be aware is. And this is what the dermatologist told me. And, and at the time, I was like, no, it can't get any worse. But it was, it will get worse before it gets better. And I was thinking, like, how can it get worse than it already has? Like, I had so much acne. It's like, how do you get worse? And trust me, it got worse. Um, and I can show you some pictures of it. Uh, it. It really got worse. But out of nowhere, it just like, it was a switch. Out of nowhere, it just got so much better. And there was times where it was just so, my skin was so nice and clean. Um, uh, the one thing that did change long term too, 
Oh, I just keep flipping back. But the long, the one, the one thing that did change long term was uh, my skin now is not oily. It used to be so oily, and now it's very hard to get oily. Actually, um, I would have to have worked out a lot and like not have to like clean my face or anything to get oily. Now I'm more of my my the change has been the chemical change balance in my skin has been more of the dry, which I'm okay with because it less it makes my skin less acne prone. There's other people the other way around where their skin is very dry and it makes it acne prone, but for me it's so much better. Um, anyway, so long term, and so now what I'm seeing, now the effects that I'm seeing on my skin, uh, it's not gonna say Accutane is not a medicine where you're never gonna get an, uh, an outbreak. N no. I get a pimple or two here and there, uh, specifically if I'm eating a bunch of junk food, not like healthy, not working out or anything like that, I will get a pimple. Um, but it's not as big as it used to be. It used to be when they were so big it actually hurt um, as they're growing and now it's just like a little tiny zit here and there and it just kind of goes away in a day. It, really they go away in a day um and so the main thing here is if you're thinking of doing Accutane know know everything behind it know you need you're gonna yeah the best thing you could do is have patience patience that it'll that the long term it'll work um anyways thank you for listening and watching um again my name is Jenny and if you have any questions on my Accutane regimen or if you have any comments about your Accutane regimen, what was the worst thing you've had on yours? Because I've heard of other things like way worse than what I had. So let me know if you like, um, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye.